So I finally got the chance to check out the Galaxy S10 Plus. Here it is, and let me tell you what I think about it. So obviously this phone is a very beautiful phone to look at. Everything from the display to the white iridescent backing, it is a very pretty looking phone. But first, I wanna talk about something that's on the inside, the in-display fingerprint scanner, because it's pretty cool. And we saw something similar on the OnePlus 6T where the fingerprint scanner is on the front, it's in the inside, you're not seeing anything, you're just scanning your finger and it opens up your phone. But this one is a little bit cooler because it uses ultrasonic technology instead of an optical sensor. So this fingerprint scanner actually uses sound waves instead of projecting light to your finger. So it's a little bit more accurate and more secure in every way and it works really well. It opens up super quick. Also, the little animation that it does when you scan your fingerprint looks really beautiful too. It's like a little ocean wave. So yeah, works well, looks good, A+. But now that the phone is opened up, looking beautiful, look at that display. It is so bright and big and just even more bezel-less looking than it was before. We got less chin, we got less bezels, and also the whole punch. It looks good. I mean, I like it. I have an S9 Plus here and the S10 Plus right next to it. Full brightness, both displays look really good, but this one looks so much more outdated, mostly due to the bezels. But when looking at the display itself, the colors on here, they just pop out more. This one has a dynamic AMOLED display. They're both OLED, but this one definitely looks brighter and better to me. The S10s also have an HDR10 Plus certified display that gives it a wider range of colors. And I mean, yeah, it looks really good. It's Samsung displays always look really good though. This is just another one that looks even better than before. They even managed to bump up the brightness to 1200 nits, which makes it even better for viewing things outside. You're also really going to enjoy watching videos on here. And all in all, it's really not that different from the S9 Plus because you still get those stereo speakers facing you nice and loud when you're playing videos out loud or any type of media out loud. Sounds really good, it looks really good, and it also feels really good in your hand. You still have the curved display, which never really bothered me. I know you do get that slight reflection if light is hitting it, but it looks good and it feels good, and if you don't like that curve, you can always go for the S10e, which has that flat display similar to what was on the S7 but I think we started getting that curved glass after the S8. But yeah, there's always that budget option. And yeah, I mean, I think this, the size of this phone is good for me. It's like probably my favorite. I always go for the plus model of the Galaxy S phones, but if you want something even bigger, you can go for that 5G phone that's coming out a little bit later. But yeah, I really, really like the size of this one. So on the back, we got the three cameras, the main lens with that variable aperture, telephoto lens, and now we're adding the ultra wide camera that gives us a focal length equivalent to the human eye, so it's nice and wide. And on the front, we got two cameras, which, yeah, the S10 plus S10 5G, those have two cameras, so you're gonna be seeing a lot more selfies now. So besides taking pictures and all the camera stuff, which I'll get into more within the next couple weeks, just using the phone has been great too. It's got the Snapdragon 855 inside and you'll see that along the whole S10 lineup. But yeah, that Snapdragon 855, like I mentioned before, the fingerprint scanner, that's actually what allows that fingerprint scanner technology to be possible on this phone. And yeah, overall it's been great. Also the whole phone looks cleaner, Samsung's UI, Samsung's One UI has a couple subtle changes that make it look a lot nicer and overall just better looking and better to use. And I know Samsung hasn't been known for the best looking interfaces on their phone, but this one doesn't look too bad. So I haven't really used the phone for that long, but so far I can tell you the battery life has been pretty great. And if you're somebody that uses your phone a lot, you're probably gonna wanna go for the S10 Plus versus the S10 or S10e because those do have a smaller battery than this one. But yeah, that's been pretty good. And along those lines, when it comes to charging, there's actually wireless power share on these phones. So you can charge things with the phone wirelessly 
on the back. Shout out to Samsung Josh. And another cool thing about this phone is that we still see a headphone jack on here, which is a little more rare these days. Plus, they also still include a pair of AKG headphones in the box, which is a nice little touch. But like I said, I still need a lot more time with this phone, so let me know in the comments what you guys think of it so far. And speaking of comments, also, thank you so much for the lovely words on the most recent video. If you guys miss it, you can check it out here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you later.